top 10 shaders for mcpe 1.19 starting off with the nrrds shader this is a fantastic shader and you will immediately notice that we get brighter lighting and darker defined shadows as well this shader comes with brand new wavy grass animations over here which looks so sick in my opinion and here's how the water does look like the water is so sick and even has a brand new pattern to it and also we do get photorealistic clouds over here which makes this shader look so nice and here is how the sunset does look like you will notice how we get so many different shades of yellow orange all that good stuff and you can see that we also do have a photorealistic sunset as it actually does go down over here next up we have the dark shader when you load into this shader you'll immediately notice that we actually do get more saturated and brighter colors over here which looks so sick and this shader actually does come with a lot of fog as you're able to tell over here which looks so sick and it definitely does add to the atmosphere but what's really cool is that this shader actually has a rainbow in the sky over here take a look at that boys that looks so sick in my opinion i really do love the way it does look and here's how the sunset does look like as you can tell we get a photorealistic sun right over here and you can see that the fog effect is actually like so strong and it genuinely is such a vibe next up we have the craddy shader when you load into the shader you'll immediately notice that we get a really cool fog effect but we also do have this beautiful nice photorealistic clouds and a photorealistic sun over there as well and just like all the previous shaders we actually do get this really cool fog effect as well that you guys are able to notice and here's how the water does look like the water is actually made to be slightly darker than and here's how the sunset of the craddy shader looks like that emits out all this orange light and it looks so sick in my opinion next up we have the hyrd shader when you load it to the shader you'll immediately notice that we get way more brighter and saturated colors and also we do get slightly darker shadows as well and take a look at the water over here we get brand new water animations which looks so amazing also we do have these beautiful photorealistic clouds over here until they're made to be a bit more subtle here's how the sunset does look like as you can tell we have that beautiful photorealistic sun in the background over here and so many different shades of orange and stuff like that and it's so cool next up we have the minimalistic graphic shader when you load into the shader you'll immediately notice how we actually do get some slight recoloring for example we do get more saturated colors you'll also notice that we get this really sick fog effect as you're able to tell over here which is you'll notice that we get a brand new sun over here it is actually made to be more rounded and here's how the sunset does look like as you can tell we get so many different shades of orange and it looks so clean next up we have the bgrd shader this is a fantastic shader that actually does make the colors way more saturated and brighter we also get this really cool subtle fog effect over here which looks really amazing and once again we do have brand new animations for the water over here here's how the sunset does look like you'll notice that we have so many different shades of orange and yellow all that good stuff and it genuinely looks really good next up we have the fog shader when you load into the shader you'll immediately notice that we get this really cool fog effect everywhere also do we get slightly brighter and darker to find shadows as well and we also do have this really cool photorealistic clouds over here which looks so sick and a photorealistic sun right over there and the water is actually made to be a little bit more different the color is actually made to be darker but here's how the sunset does look like as you can tell the sun is actually made to be more rounder and stuff like that that it's all being reflected on the terrain as well so it definitely does add to the atmosphere of this shader next up we have the universal shader when you load into the shader you'll immediately notice that we get way more saturated and brighter lighting right over here this shader is a total vibe and does not have that much fog effect like some of these other shaders so that is definitely a major plus we also do get this really cool photorealistic sky over here although it is made to be much more subtle and we do have a nice photorealistic sun over here which definitely does look pretty dope but here's how the sunset does look like as you can tell we do get like this really cool bright orange actually emitting from the sun and it's even being reflected on the water right over here and the terrain as well next up we have the kgrz renewed shaders over here this is a fantastic shade over here that is made to be incredibly simple so it can run on basically any device and also the colors are made to be brighter and also we do get more slightly defined shadows as well we also have this nice photorealistic sky over here with that photorealistic sun over there which looks so sick in my opinion and yet again the sunset is the highlight of this shader as you can tell we get so many different shades of yellow this time rather than orange and you can see that it's all being reflected on the terrain next up we have the no rtx shader this is a fantastic shader over here that's made to be incredibly simple once again we do get slightly more saturated colors and stuff like that and we also do have new water animations in general which looks so clean in my opinion and this fog effect is definitely a vibe you can see it everywhere and it definitely does add a lot of atmosphere here's how the sunset does look like it looks super duper fantastic you can see the sun over there it is shining nice and bright and we get so many different shades of yellow see you later french fries